Oki i tamexist suko good day it is uh, <coughs> Oki i tamexist suko good day this is Ryan Heavyhead with Frozen Toes coming to you live out of Rustrock Cathedral on the river bottom of the old man Oki i tamexistsuko good day this is Ryan Heavyhead coming to you live with frozen toes from beautiful artistic eccentric Rostrock Cathedral <laughs> in the Old Man River uh, floodplain uh, uh. Oki Itamexistsuko, good day. This is Ryan Heavyhead coming to you live with frozen toes from Rustrock Cathedral in the floodplain of the old man. Ah. Boogery nose itches. Boogery nose itches. I wonder how many different uh, attempts we can get at this intro. <laughs> Let me just pause for a second, back myself up against the chain link here and try to show you guys just a little glimmer, I know the camera can't do it, of what Rustrock Cathedral is from the inside without putting my shadow all over the place. Let me, let me see if I can do that. I'm gonna try to keep my shadow out of it, which means I gotta, I gotta like hide myself against the fence here and show you stuff that's going on on the opposite side. Check. This is kind of the inner chamber It's currently being built, growing over the years. I'm sure we will see more as things are to come. Look at this, Rust Rock Cathedral in its glory in the sun and I'm stuck on wire. <laughs> Yeah, every little window through the through the wire and mesh here holds a, a another glimpse into a little bit of our artistic expression. Nothing here, or very little of it. I shouldn't say nothing. I shouldn't say very little, but some of it. <laughs> I should start this again. I find that every little window that you look into. Um, in this wire mesh and stuff around me, you'll find little artistic expressions, things that are set there um, specifically to for you to see when you look through at that particular angle. <laughs> it's pretty neat, you know. It's got kind of these all these tiny little micro expressions, and then it's got this macro expression. And then it's got this seasonal expression. And for those of you who believe that I was the architect, <laughs> not quite. Those of you who have hypothesized that I am the architect of this um, really fascinating thing that's going on here. I mean, if you, uh, there's my fucking shadow again, son of a bitch. And those of you who have uh, hypothesized that I am the artisan, um, that I'm the architect, <laughs> you're, you're totally, totally wrong. For sure I'm not. Anyway, I'm up here today. Obviously, I came, came down to check my trap. Those of you who've been following the, the slow storyline of my channel <laughs> know that just out this way, I had a, uh, a camera trap set out for Sinopa, the fox, and um, if it is a fox. In any case, when I got out there this afternoon, as I walked in, the first thing I did was go check the camera, and I was surprised to see the camera had been displaced, had been obviously picking, picked up off of the, like the, the way that I had the strap was surrounding the the top of that bit of tree stump there 
and something had lifted it up off of there dropped it to the side might have been a deer could have been a deer uh, could have very well been another person a human you know we'll see <laughs> I'm probably gonna be intersp intersplicing the, uh, the images in here by the way I have not fixed that camera I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix it this is the kind of situation where these days all the shit that they make is disposable um, Bushnell you know if you want to like flip me a couple of cameras to help me out here I, w I would I wouldn't complain <laughs> But your camera's dying out on me. It's only at nighttime anyway. I'm only catching the first little like second of uh, any video shot and then the then the light dies down and I can't see the subject and then uh, it fades into darkness. So we might catch some glimpses. I'll probably edit them into my narrative. The thing that I'm doing now, what you don't know is that while you're looking at these clips, I'm picking my nose and all of that right in front of the camera. Um, but you'll get to see, in any case, what was going on. So, yeah, the camera's starting to fail. I want to get a couple more game cams. I have one more at the house that I can use, but it's a it's a junk camera. Um, you know, just the quality is not that great. But I'd like to get a couple of good ones when the when the summer season picks up and all that. Which remind well doesn't remind me, but <laughs> leads me I should say into uh i want to give a little weekly update here or something like it i haven't done an update any case i wanted to give a little bit a quick weekly update like i say um what's going on in the life of rye because i know it's been a few days again between uh between my videos on, on my channel i had a uh, a friend on the fight commission last night we're gonna do a uh rumble in the cage tonight rumble in the cage 60 this is the longest running mma promotion in canada and for those of you who watch um ufc if you've seen uh jordan Meehan fight yeah, it's his dad that runs this promotion and so last night i was in uh, his dad lee's gym the canadian uh martial arts academy here in lethbridge and we did their weigh-ins for the fighters it's gonna be 12 fights tonight we did the weigh-ins for them and I actually got the role of uh, calling the fighters up you know putting them on the scale and uh, saying what they weighed and all of that which is <laughs> a fun role to have in a ritual such as that even though I think that you know those uh, the kind of the dropping weight that happens currently in MMA is BS and needs to needs to go that's a wrestling holdover that we don't need it's dangerous and it doesn't provide for the best uh, fights either so any case but I was over there last night doing that um, and one of the other guys on the commission told me you know I miss uh, having your you know your daily thing going on on YouTube because I'm able to kind of play it in the background of things that I do and just listen to it and there's always education going on and you know it's slowed down it's slowed down because it is winter and uh, <laughs> the vast majority of animals either die off or leave and uh, only us crazy ones stick around here for the freeze <laughs> so speaking of that um, I have I have started to get a little bit of a pickup in the raccoon um, calls and I think as we go deeper into winter that's gonna happen more frequently unfortunately 
uh, the raccoons are going to start to be found out. They in the city, they primarily live in people's attic crawl spaces, and the way that they get in there is through they kind of find little holes in the soffit. Although I've got something to say about that in a second, but anyway, they either live in the crawl space or um, or they'll get in the chimney, you know, a nest in the chimney. And the chimney is not so bad, you know, if you don't use your chimney for fire and stuff, you can just leave the raccoon be. He's not going to poop and piss and stuff in there, as long as your your flue is closed tight and everything, and um, you shouldn't have an issue with them coming in the house or causing any problems structurally damage-wise and stuff. Um, but if they're in the crawl space, yeah, you're going to have latrines and things built into the into the uh, insulation and you, you, you're going to want to get them out of there. It's, things will get bad. <laughs> um, so this week I had two calls for raccoons and uh, I know as we get into deeper winter they'll pick up a lot more. Um, I, pick, I actually got one of the raccoons this morning in the trap. Um, this was one that was living in a crawl space and I couldn't figure out how he was getting in there because there wasn't a pinch in the soffit. He's getting in there some other way. He was a fat raccoon, so I can't see him going through any of the like the regular air vents going into the attic space. So I don't know how he was doing it, but he's he was visiting there um, a few nights a week, and the tent and the residents could hear him, you know, in the soffit. So they called me and I got him out of there. Um, but it's a mystery how he's gotten in there and I need to find that out because I need to be able to make recommendations to people um, In the future <laughs> Now unfortunately this morning I picked him up and it was snowy outside and everything But I think he had gotten to the trap before the snow and so I didn't get to see the evidence on the roof of where he came out of That would have been that would have been perfect, but uh, We extracted him Maybe we extracted him too soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that business is still running at a very slow pace, the small mammal movement stuff. Um, what else is going on? One thing, of course, is Badger. Um, I have been monitoring the progress of what's going on at, at the Badger's Den uh, that I finally located, our neighborhood, our our heritage area badger. Um, the other day I, I located it, that den with the <clears throat> badger, Miss Badger. I'm calling her Miss, Mrs. I think it's a, 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 a in, for some reason in my mind I don't really think that it's a female but when it comes to badgers in general when I when I see a badger I think of a, of a woman. <laughs> I don't know why. It's that stout. <laughs> that anger. No, no, it can't be that. I, I shouldn't talk like that. Um, <laughs> any case, Mrs. Badger, I've been watching her monitoring her hole there. Uh, the one that I pointed out in my last update or so. And I do think that this is the Badger from Heritage. Um, but she kind of ran out of deer to eat and she moved on. She was there for a couple of nights Where the hole was still backfilled so I knew that she was sleeping during the day there but the other morning I walked up and checked it out and She is gone and the deer is just down to bones pretty much anyway um, So I don't know where she's moved to I probably if I got time of course I'll go scope it out and that's the big thing is what kind of time will I have? I don't know. I've been pretty busy uh, the past week, but not busy with wildlife work. <laughs> you know, um, raccoons, raccoons, but now I can't even remember what's up the video. This video sucks. One more thing, one more thing's going but on, and then I've been approached by a friend of mine. Um, Jordan Murray, who's a who's a professional fighter, professional MMA fighter, 
and he's starting up a new podcast um, and he's asked me if I would be one of his hosts on the podcast I guess he's going to have three of us that are the principal kind of like anchors of the podcast so to speak um, it's going to run all week long it's going to be like an everyday uh, podcast but he'll have one of us doing it you know the, the three of us that are his that are his primary anchors um, will choose one day of the week f- for us to do our bit it'll be like an hour-long segment about current affairs and stuff our perspectives on current affairs and I th- think what he's got going on is that he's lined up some guys with very different perspectives um, I think he's got five of us in all but he he says three of us are pretty solid you know that he's bringing in bringing us in and he knows we got some online following already but we all come from very different backgrounds very different politics um, very different cultural traditions and such and so we are going to uh, we'll each have our own hour-long segment Monday to Friday and then on Saturday uh, he'll pull some of us together in an online conversation slash debate about the things that with the current affairs that we've talked about during the week so it's it's basically gonna be kind of just a talk show um, about current affairs but it's gonna have you know a, a wide perspective um, and there's gonna be some respectful debate and stuff like that involved so it should be a fun show and I'll let you guys know more about that as it's coming up I think we're gonna actually start uh, recording and putting it out there in January it'll be on iTunes for sure um, the promotion of the of the show is gonna go on through the month of December and then you know while that's going on I'll learn more about it like <laughs> the name of the show and when to expect me to be on and that kind of thing but uh yeah i'm looking forward to it and i think it'll be i think it'll be a lot of fun um and it looks like the camera here actually might run out of juice pretty quick and i might have to switch cameras so i didn't plug this one in overnight unfortunately should have i've, I've burnt a lot of it making uh false takes <laughs> that i didn't like Ah, like this one. Fuck this one. Bunch of blunders.